A fair warning, there are no jump scares in this audio, but it does feature some spooky sounds and overall creepiness. It also touches a little bit on the topics of death and moving on. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the place. Is everyone's gear squad away? Yeah, I checked everyone's equipment before we got here. Each flashlight has fresh batteries, each camera has a fresh roll of film, and all the media and the video cameras have been formatted. Good. In that case, I think me and Helena can head inside. Kyle, if you could stay behind and monitor the cameras in the truck, that would be most helpful. Okay, sure. Be careful in there, both of you. I'm taking a video camera and an EMF reader with me. What about you, Vince? I think I'll bring along a UV light and a thermometer. It'll be best to get a good idea of our surroundings. Then let's head inside. Okay, everyone is squared away. Head cams are up and running. Night vision toggles working as intended. Mic check. Does everyone copy? Copy. Fire you. Mic check complete. You are GTG. Okay, better begin rolling. Ghost Tracker Kyle Price, Case File 17, Narrow Florence Lane, October 13th, 2017. I am parked outside 17, Narrow Florence Lane. It is roughly 3 a.m. We have reason to believe the house is haunted by a ghost of some kind, and my team, Helena Vermeer and Vincent Dominguez, have entered the house of suspected ghost haunting. I will be recording my entire experience for the duration of this investigation for analytical purposes. As of right now, we are currently setting up our equipment to monitor the halls and rooms. We have not seen any disturbance of any kind so far. We were allowed to enter the house, meaning that if there is indeed a ghost in there, it doesn't seem to have an issue with us entering, or maybe it just couldn't stop us. Oh. Hey guys, the activity monitor is picking up a faint signal. Did you do anything out of the ordinary? No, we were just talking about where we should put the camera. It's getting a bit cold in the basement steps. It might just be a coincidence, but I think we should check it out. The activity is increasing. It might be reacting to your talking. I recommend you keep speaking to a minimum, just in case. I'll lower my voice over the comms as well. Okay. Activity levels have only reached a 3 at most. It is at least aware that they are in there. Assuming a microwave isn't messing with our sensors again. Wait, that reminds me. Hey Vince, does the building have power? It does not. So it can't be any kind of electronic interference, at least not from this house. It doesn't draw power from electronics. That narrows it down a little bit. It may be a ghost that enjoys the cold. Okay. I'm getting a signal from the video cam. I can see the room now. They are currently in the basement of the house. According to Vince's thermometer, it is currently 2 degrees Celsius or 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Vince, maybe you should come back and grab a DOTS projector and a book, in case the ghost would like to write something. Helena, uh, could you try to interact with it while you're gone? It might only be comfortable with responding to people that are by themselves. Activity levels are currently flatlined. Nothing is out of the ordinary yet. As for the cameras... Helena, could you please move out of the way of the camera? Thank you. The basement looks normal so far. I'm not noticing any anomalies. Are you sure it's in there? It's a lot colder in here than the rest of the house. Ugh, I'm getting a bit of a headache, actually. Stay calm. We've only just gotten started. Vince has come back for a second to grab some equipment. We are going to see if we can cause the ghost to appear on our laser grid, and if it could write something down for us. Uh, here, Vince. I'll bring a motion detector and a sound sensor in with you. Let's set up in the place, and I'll make sure it's all monitored. Good idea. There we go. If it tries to leave the room, the motion detector will pick it up. Make sure you both step over it when you leave, okay? Sure thing. Do we have any evidence at all yet? Nothing so far. Maybe if we... 
Was that Vince? It most certainly was not. I'm going in for a closer look. should stop talking. We seem to be riling it up. I'll leave and head back to the van. We have confirmed there is a ghost within the home, and it knows that we're in there with it. Oh my. Team, the sound sensor's picking up something in your area. It's very noisy. Is everything alright? We don't hear anything. It hasn't touched the door again either. It may be trying to communicate with us in a frequency only the microphone can pick up. Human ears aren't capable of receiving sound waves ghosts are capable of producing. Or so the theory goes. I'm still watching the camera. Has anything appeared on the projector yet? Guys? Yes, my apologies. Kyle, it's... It manifested in the room for a second. Maybe the two of you should leave the room for a bit. I'll mark this down. Okay, we got a manifestation on the laser grid, and it seems to be trying to speak with us. Perhaps a yokai, or maybe an oni? Or maybe it's one of those entwined subspecies. No, wait, that would contradict the evidence we have. Wait. Is that... Did they leave the light on in the room? No, that looks like it's not a dust particle. Team, the camera's picking up ghostly orbs. It's definitely in that room. Activity levels seem to be at one. It's just sitting there in the room right now, but it isn't showing itself or doing anything else. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be very aggressive. It might just be watching us. Well... We know it leaves behind ghostly orbs that are invisible to the naked eye. It left a reflection on the particle wall, and it doesn't leave fingerprints behind. But it can make a room cold enough, but not to freezing temperatures. Either we didn't get a strong enough electronic signal from it on the EMF, it hasn't wanted to write anything to us yet, or we may need to speak to it directly and see if it will respond. I think Vince put uh, the book within the view of the camera. Oh. Hey, Helena. You're in the way of the camera again. Can you please move? Helena? Hello? Helena? Vince. Are you there? Is Helena with you? Vince? If you can still hear me, just click the talk button on your radios. Give me a sign. Oh no. Their vitals are still appearing on the monitor. What's going on? I guess I should go inside myself. I am now entering the house myself. I am bringing along a box with which I can use to communicate with the ghost, and a crucifix for luck. Hello? Anyone? What the? My flashlight is flickering. <gasps> False alarm. Just faulty equipment. Still recording? Still recording. Hello? There's the camera. What the? It's frozen. The video feed froze up. When did it? Wait, the projector is off too. Why is everything off? 
I will now attempt to use the spirit box to communicate with the ghost. Hello? Is anyone there? This is a special box. I can use it to talk to you. You were trying to talk to us earlier, right? If you are in here, please give me a sign. Where are you? <laughs> what is your name? Do you want me to leave? <laughs> okay. I'll stay right here. Is there any way I can help you? Okay. I'll talk to you. Um, what happened to the other two that were in here? Where did they go? Asleep. Did they fall asleep? <laughs> My head. Why did they fall asleep? Did you do this? Uh, okay. Then why is it so cold? Why do you have all the power off? Alone death. Alone death? What do you mean by that? that how you died? You froze to death in your sleep, and you were all by yourself. Yes. Then, the blizzard back in January, the one that shut down power across the entire town and snowed in a lot of people, is... is that when you died? Yes. I'm... I'm sorry. I must have been so scared. I can only imagine. If you don't mind me asking, can I have your name? It may help me lay your spirit to rest. Wells. Wells? Then you must be Matthew Wells. I remember seeing your name in the obituaries. Yes. Matthew, I'm truly sorry that you've been living alone like this for so long. But if you'd like, I can help you move on. I can burn some special incenses in here and use this crucifix to help banish you from this place. You won't be tied here any longer. Your spirit can wander free. Would you like that? Scared. I know it's scary. But you have to move on, Matthew. You're nothing but a husk of your old self now. There's nothing left for you here. But I promise, you'll go to a much better place. Please. Yeah. Alright. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Matthew Wells, you do not need to remain here any longer. By the power vested within me, I release you from this place. Let the anchor you have forged that binds you here lift. Let the chains that shackle you here break. Let your soul be free. Pass on. And be at peace. Is anyone there? The room's warming up. My head is clearing up too. Uh, what was that? What happened? One moment I was walking down the hall, and then I was face down on the rug. Uh, did one of you guys knock me out? You're both okay. Oh, thank goodness. God, I'm gonna need an aspirin. Did you figure out what it was? Uh, did you find the ghost? 
Yeah. It was some kind of subspecies I've never seen before. Similar to a yokai, but it talked to me. I have the whole thing documented. Then where is it now? I banished it. It's moved on now. Our job here is done. Really? Oh, goodness me. Good work, Kyle. Let's, let's pack up and head home. <sighs> I need a nap, for real. <sighs> Me too. Let's pack up. <sighs>